Oil surging for a third day as tensions in Saudi Arabia add pressure to supplies already tightened by the war in Ukraine. Bloomberg's Danny Berger has more. Danny. Anna, yes, it's the third day that we're seeing oil move higher. 4%, 4% plus in some WTI and Brent contracts. And to be clear, since we fell from the peak matched earlier in March, there has some, been some confusion as to why. It fell about 20% in six days. The fundamental story hasn't really changed. There's still the self-sanctioning. There's still more demand. There's still issues with supply. So that was a confusing picture. But over the past few days and even this morning, we've gotten this reinforced picture that shows the bias of direction in oil is higher. For one, you had a Houthi rebel attack in Saudi on Ramco sites. Now, there's not any signs that that hindered output of oil, but of course, those sorts of geopolitical tensions certainly add to the price of oil. We also have China relaxing some COVID restrictions. Shenzhen is opening yet again. Flight restrictions in Hong Kong are being eased. That demand side of the picture also push it, pushing oil higher. And of course, there still is so much uncertainty over this war, the progress of talks, what sort of sanctions as Marie was discussing will be placed on Russian energy alongside the self-sanctioning. So this unknown picture keeping oil pushing higher today.